For today's video, we're going to cover some essential muscle groups that we want to be stretching for our upper body. This is really important for anyone that strength trains, does powerlifting, bodybuilding, any kind of resistance training. This is going to be a video for you to prioritize your time on what muscle groups you should be stretching to prevent pain and injury. It's going to come with no surprise, but we're first going to talk about the anterior part of our chest, our pec major and our pec minor. One of the stretches we really want to emphasize is this doorway stretch. Now you can do this with one arm, or if you have the doorway where you can do both arms at the same time, that's fine. What we really want to be prioritizing is how long we're in the stretch. So trying to have a minimum of 60 seconds up to as much as two minutes or two minutes and 30 seconds. Now, when I step forward into the stretch, I should feel the muscle stretching. I shouldn't feel tingling into my fingers, pulling into my neck. Sometimes people like to twist into it and they rotate their neck sideways. As they do this, they can get that pulling in the neck. That's because our nerves, our median nerve and our ulnar nerve are on tension in this position. So just keep your head neutral, step into it, forward so you just feel that muscular stretch. Now the primary muscles we're getting here, like I said, are pec major and pec minor. But we are also getting a little bit of our coracobrachialis, which is an arm muscle into the coracoid process. And we are getting a little bit of the biceps long head tendon because we are kind of anteriorly stretching the front of the shoulder there. This is so important for any of us weightlifters that are doing any kind of pushing movements. And honestly, anyone who just sits and has a really rounded shoulder posture because these muscles are very strong and they're very tight. They can really pull us into that position and due to the location of the pec minor and major that can really pull on the humerus, pull on the coracoid, causing lots of different shoulder pain in that area. So again, really emphasizing this stretch is key for the anterior part of our chest and shoulders. Fern's going to help me with this one here. So the next really important muscle group we want to target is our lats, our latissimus dorsi. These actually attach from your back all the way down into like the top of your hip area into the front of your shoulder. So the pecs and the lats actually insert in the same area, the intertubicular groove where the biceps long head tendon is. So sometimes a lot of that shoulder pain you get in the front is tightness of the lats and the pecs, which are two muscle groups that we all train a lot when we're doing a lot of resistance training. So to really target the lats effectively, what I really like to do is this prayer stretch. So I have my elbows on an elevated surface. It can be a chair, a couch, a bed, it doesn't really matter hands together and then I come backwards as if I'm going into child's pose and in this position I should feel the stretch going through the side of my lats even up into the armpit a little bit. I might feel a little bit of tightness into the shoulder and that's okay. Again what we're trying to make sure we don't feel is pain at the top of the shoulder in this area. That's not appropriate. A little bit of tightness back in this is a muscular stretch. Now, like I said, these muscles are very strong and they're very tight with how much work that we do with our weight training. So it's important to keep them stretched long and strong. And this will help with preventing shoulder pain, especially shoulder pain into the front because a lot of people don't realize that's where it inserts. The last muscle group we're going to be talking about is actually the posterior rotator cuff uh, and also the teres major. So we have the infraspinatus. We have the teres minor, which take up the back of the rotator cuff. We have our posterior deltoid, and we have our teres major. So these four muscles work hard in all of our shoulder stability and having us in a good, stable shoulder blade position. Now, when they get tight, they can push the humerus forward in the socket a little bit, but they can also cause shoulder pain in and around the shoulder joint as well. One of the ways I like to stretch specifically the infraspinatus and the teres minor is a sleeper stretch. You can do this in side lying or you can just do it standing against the wall. Have one arm 90 degrees up away from your body, face on a perpendicular angle, and then push your arm down towards the wall. Now what I'm feeling is, as I push down, is a stretch in the back of my shoulder here. So that's the infraspinatus and teres minor muscles. That's because they do lateral rotation, so they rotate away from the body. 
So when I immediately rotate, I'm lengthening them. So I'm pushing down and I'm lengthening infraspinatus teres minor and I can feel that stretch. Now you can see that I'm quite tight. I'm pretty far away from the wall right now. Ideally, you want to be a couple hands width away. So holding this stretch, you want to do it for again, another 60 seconds minimum. So I find that those three primary muscle groups, the pecs, the lats, and the posterior shoulder, and the rotator cuff are really key into stretching after your workouts, trying to do them a few times a week. What I like to do is I alternate upper body stretching one day, lower body stretching the other day, and I honestly just do it while I'm watching Netflix or doing something on my phone, and I just hold the stretch for two minutes each side. It really is just one of those things with building a routine. Now, this is bonus. I wanted to add this in as part of a warm-up. This is my favorite exercise to do as a warm-up before my working out for my upper body days, even my lower body, just to get the spine moving. So we're going to go through the thread the needle right now as a little bonus. So this is one of my favorite warm-ups before all of my upper body lifting. It's a thread the needle. It helps the spine move through all its ranges of motion. Uh, it's good rotation. You can feel it in the pecs and the lats and your shoulder. Uh, it's just one of my favorites. So what you're doing is you're in four point position. You're taking one hand, you're reaching it through, leading with your chest. So I'm trying to twist my chest through, and then I'm trying to open my chest towards the ceiling. Now, what you don't want to do is if you're feeling tight, and this is as far as you can rotate, you don't just reef your arm back. Try and just let your chest be the guide and keep your arm in line with where your chest is. I like to do 12 per side. Depending on how I'm feeling that day, I will do one or two sets. Now, this is a great warm-up because you really get the mobility through your entire spine, and you get the pecs and the lats and the shoulder muscles going through, and even the neck. You even get the neck rotating as well. So there you have it. Those are my primary stretches that you should do after your workouts and a little bonus warm-up, some tips and tricks to help prevent some shoulder pain and keep you lifting and training well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below of something that you'd be interested to see next. Tune in next time.